most content that brands produce is connecting with less than 70% of their core target audience. So they're only connecting with 30% of the people that they're trying to convince to, to perform some type of action. So this is causing brands to lose millions and millions of dollars, whether it's paid or organic. So our communication model turns communication into a mathematical formula. So there's six different ways that people perceive your content and brand today. And you'll see these percentages next to each of them. So the largest subset of the population is feeling-based. It's 30%. So this subset of the population is going to connect with your brand, buy your products or services, follow your account, based on how it emotionally makes them feel. The second largest subset of the population is fact-based. It's 25%. It's not about how it feels for them. They want it to make sense. They want data, information, time frames, who, what, when, where, why. The third largest is fun-based, 20%. So for them, they just want it to be stimulated. They want excitement. They want engagement with the content. 10% is value-based. For them, it's, do I trust this brand? Do I believe in what they're saying? Are they dedicated to me as a consumer? 10% is imagination-based. They're reflective on the world. So the best analogy I could give you for that is Albert Einstein. If you've ever read biographies on him, he would stare out the window for hours on end, reflecting on the world and everything that he was working on to come up with his best Theories. So these people like to take, they like direction given to them. And then the smallest subset of the population, 5%, is action-based. So the best analogy I could give you is if anybody has seen Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, what is he doing? He's not feeling, he's not thinking, he's not believing, he's running. He's jumping off the side of airplanes, buildings, he's just going, 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 going. So imagine this scenario. You have your marketing director and you have your customer, and on paper, they look the exact same. Both females, same age range, high income earners, university educated. However, if we look at their communication structure, it's different. So as you'll see, there's different lengths of bars. So the length of bar dictates their strength, and the short of the bar dictates their weakness. Us as individuals, we have access to all six different ways, but we predominantly communicate and create our content based upon how we perceive the world. So in this instance, the marketing director is perceiving the world through action. Remember, action's 5%. And the consumer that she's trying to connect with is feeling-based. So the marketing director will probably create content that is, move fast, get it now, this is the best. You're going to miss out. Versus the customer just wants to know how this product's going to make them feel. So it's no fault of the marketing director because she doesn't have the level of awareness. But once you have that level of awareness, you can overcome this core problem. Most of us as content creators, again, are creating content based on how we perceive the world instead of the largest subset of the population. As a result, we're typically alienating a significant percentage of our core customer base by communicating just in the way that we like to communicate. So instead of your marketing communication looking like this, that's imbalanced, you can make it look like this, that's balanced. Now.